Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. In the video template with security login form, we created a template that had a security um, login form functionality. And one of the last things I said we would do would be to package that up to be a, to use it in other applications. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, one of the pieces of um, documentation that I use quite frequently is this tomb. It's 1,820 pages, and um, it is for 11G, this release. And um, this chapter is about reusing application components, and it goes over some of the information about packaging and, and a little bit about how to do it. Uh, but it, it is quite helpful and a good background, a good read for prepare, preparing for this. I hope this video will do it justice. So let's take a look at the um, original version that I had. Now, um, one of the things that you want to keep in mind about packaging is you do not want to have objects, files, what have you, in your jar that might exist in the application that you're going to import it into. It will cause conflict. So you try to uniquely name your files so that they do not cause conflict when you import or create objects like the data bindings file that is exists in your new application that you're going to import the jar into. And when I originally did this, I found that the data bindings file that was in the jar file conflicted with the data bindings file that was created when I created new files in new JSF files in my new application. So I ended up having to create a jar file and remove this. So you can see that some of these are not very unique names. So I'm going to go in and Generally, I'm, I'm not going to show you all this because it takes a while to do, but I'm going to either remove or rename. Either way works for me. You can move, uh, you can do, um, you can open this up, for example, and you can rename it. And we'll just do one here. And I think I'll do login bean. And um, I'm also going to move this. So, where is it? Here it is. What is it? Template SSF. Now, one of the things that you want to be very careful about when you do change things like this is that there are a lot of hard coded um, references within JDeveloper to other areas. So for example, uh, the Manage Beans are, and you can see that these are no longer referencing them. Let's see, I've got my home <coughs> Manage Bean. I'll just, uh, I'll just do this one, I think, uh, right now, since that's the only one that I changed. And we put it in view. Oh, I guess we did the Home Manage Bean. Or no, there's the other one. Okay, and um, I haven't moved this one, but I, I, let's get rid of the uh, view dot template dot. Um, actually, I'm sorry, that one's view dot. Home management. There we go. We haven't moved that one yet. So, but once you do that, the yellow disappears, showing that it's able to find the reference. So, be sure that if you do move things around, you change the places that they're referenced. And and unfortunately, it's uh, something you just learn where things are. And and after a while, you get used to it. The other things that I want to do is remove the data bindings. I also want to remove this. There's no sense in having it. We're not using it and would remove, um, where is it, um, the date page def, would you remove that also because there's no need for that. So we reduce the number of artifacts that we have in our application. 
So let me open up the application that, um, or, or work on this, and you can I'll be ready in a second. Another thing that I'm going to do is export it. So I would click at the very top once I'm completed, um, and I also do all my pending changes. I'm not going to right now, but when I do all my pending changes, I want to do export and make sure that I am at the very top. I don't want to be clicking on here, for example, when I do my export, because that will just export the view controller. You can see that. And, and we want to have the JWS file and the whole shebang ready for us. OK, so um, let me do that. OK. I've got this all cleaned up, and I verified with the ADFC config that it is, in fact, ready. And I've exported it. So um, now what you need to do is go to deployment and uh, click on deployment here and do new. And we're going to do it as an ADF library jar. It comes up with a unique name. You can change it to um, whatever you want. Can't type. OK, and then you get the second string. And if you're doing uh, business components, then you'll have a database connection. And we're going to copy it from here. And we've got that. And we press that and press that. Now we're ready to go. I'm going to save it one last time. And we'll do deploy. And it's always nice to see that it's actually been created with the correct timestamp. So what I do is I put it into a library file that I have and um, put it over here. And this is now ready to import into another application, which we will do in a future video.